You've heard us use this, this scripture so many times, yeah. but today it is probably, and Ooh. you're, you're going to understand why, probably more important yeah. that you understand True. what this scripture means out of the word of God. Yeah. Is there not an appointed time? In Hebrew, a moedim. Right. Is there not an appointed time, right. not on our natural calendar, yeah. but on the timetable and the calendar of God? Amen. We're going to talk about, who I feel the Holy Ghost. <laughs> we're going to talk about this being beyond special. Amen. And we're going to talk about how this is special and it brings into your life and our lives mm. divine power, yes. divine prosperity, yes. and divine prophetic fulfillment. Amen. Amen. This really is, as no other time in history, yeah. an appointed time from God. Amen. We're Pastors Larry and Tiz Huck. We want to welcome you to our YouTube channel and invite you to subscribe and be a member of all the resources that we make available to you. You know, I, I pretty much had in my in my heart, my yeah. spirit, what I was going to open up with. But as I said it, mm -hmm. I just felt a rush of Ooh. the Holy Spirit. Uh, you know, er, where we're at, where we're at right now on God's calendar, yeah. is there not an appointed time, mm -hmm. a Moedim, right, right. that God has on his calendar every year, yeah. a yes. according to the moon, not according to the sun. That's right. why it changes every year. Right. He said there are appointed times, and it ties directly in with, as you've heard us say, Malachi yeah. chapter 3, return unto me and how we're returning to you. And God says mm -hmm. in your tithes and right. your offerings, everybody knows this, your tithe is 10%. We know that. Right. But your offering is not just something that you add to your 10%, although yeah. we do that right, for right. different reasons. Right. But it means three times a year, mm -hmm. Deuteronomy 16, yeah. three times a year, we come before the Lord and we don't come empty handed. Right. Now, almost everybody knows this. But let me say this. This not knowing this is the key to why the prosperity that God has for your right, life right. hasn't come the fulfillment right. yet because as as Malachi says right. it's that. not a it's a, it's a returning to the offerings of old right. it's right. not a it's not a, a man made thing it yeah. is a god appointed God's time yeah. that three times a year we come before the Lord and we don't right. come empty handed. We come on Passover, we come on yep. Pentecost, we come on Shavuot. We know that. We yes. know that every and this is this, when we when you do this, mm -hmm. how, how many people pay their tithes and they give things sure, but they've sure. never seen the, the windows of heaven yeah, yeah. opened up over yes, their lives. Yes. And the reason is, is because we don't understand. My people destroyed for lack of knowledge. Lack of knowledge. Yep. So three times a year. Right, right now, yes. we are going into what the church world calls Pentecost. But in Hebrew, it's called Shavuot. And Shavuot is is the time in which God opens the windows of heaven mm -hmm. and he releases two things. And, and normally we emphasize that Pentecost, Shavuot, is when God releases the, the it, he begins the flow of finances for your life and for your business and for your family for the whole rest of the year. But it's also a time of right. divine power. Yes. You know, everybody yes. knows Acts chapter 2. Now, when the day of Pentecost, right. 50, had yeah. fully come, they were all with one accord in one place, and suddenly there came a sound from heaven right. as a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. Yeah. And we, we know that this is the day of Pentecost. Yeah. But what a lot of Christians don't know is that this is in Hebrew right. the same day because, and if we don't understand this, right. we don't understand don't what get God it. is yeah. getting ready to do the at this very moment in right. your life. This is called 
Shavuot. This yes. is Pentecost, 50 days yes. after the time of Passover. Right. And you know, like you said, I think a lot of Christians don't understand the roots of this. You know, we read in the book of Acts and we hear about the Holy Spirit falling. Right. And that's as deep as we go in it. Yeah. And so we look at that and we think, oh God, do it again, do it again. But the thing is, God was doing it all along. Yeah. And it's so important to understand it didn't start <laughs> on the day of on the day of Pentecost exactly. in the book of Acts. That's why it says on the when the day of Pentecost had fully come. Right. It didn't say when the day of Pentecost started. Yeah. It says when the day of Pentecost fully came. And and most of you know this, but just to give you an understanding, is that Israel came out of Egypt, the, the children of Israel came out of Egypt, and after Passover, yeah. 50 days, seven weeks plus one day. Pentecost 50, right. the Holy Spirit fell. But 50 days after Israel left Egypt, yes. God gave Moses the 10 commandments. God right. gave Moses the Torah, the Bible. And so the day of Shavuot, yes. the day of Pentecost are the same day. Now, yes. why is that important? Because First off, we see they they were all they had all come together. Right. Why had they come together? Now, hear this because my people destroyed for Lack what reason? Of Lack of yes, knowledge. Absolutely. They all came together. Why did they come together? Because three times a year mm -hmm. you come before right. the Lord and you don't come empty-handed. Yeah. And when you bring that offering, there are, now, and I say this all the time, God is God 24-7. We yeah. know this. But the Bible says, call upon the Lord while he is near. What does that mean? On these appointed times, these moedims on God's calendar, he does things more powerful. He does things in a greater dimension during these three times, Passover, Pentecost, Shavuot, Feast of Tabernacles, Sukkot, he does things greater. Yeah. And on the day of Shavuot, on the day of Pentecost, God brings two major blessings in a greater dimension than any other time of the year. One is, I'll open the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing. This offering releases onto us prosperity yes. in a way that nothing else the rest of the year That's does right. this. Yeah. But also it releases the power of God. Yeah. This is when the Holy Spirit fell. This is the beginning of signs and wonders and miracles. And the reason tis I'm so excited about this right now is that, and, and, and everybody knows what's, what's happening with Russia attacking Ukraine. Ukraine. We are partnering with yes. the nation of Israel yes. right now. Yeah. And, and I, I want to talk about, yeah. remind me when we come back from break, I want to talk about the plane yeah. that we met just a few weeks ago, a right. couple weeks right. ago in, in Israel. But we are partnering with the nation of Israel right, right. now to go in and rescue yes. Jewish people from Ukraine. Yes. Uh, actually, uh, we're at the same time, we're bringing Jewish people from Ethiopia. Yes. There are other nations that Israel has asked us to help with, yeah. and we're partnering directly with yeah. the nation of Israel yes. to literally fulfill Bible prophecy. Yes. So th yes. th this is what is so exciting. We so teach you every incredible. year during the Feast of Tab yeah. uh, during Pentecost, Shavuot, yeah. that when you give this, this is when God opens the windows yes. of heaven. Yes. And so when you send in your first fruit offering, yeah. we partner with Israel in a lot of different projects. We, we, we do feeding of children. Yeah. We do um, a hospital. We do Holocaust survivors. Right. But the main thing is fulfilling Bible prophecy. Yes. We have never, there has never been a time that is more right. important. Absolutely. There has never been a time that God is saying right. now, right, right now, this yes. Because we, we can't, we can work with a hospital or we can work with the Holocaust survivors. We can do that right. in a month or two months or right. whatever. But we are talking about now. Absolutely. And many of you have seen the pictures uh of what's happening in Ukraine, bodies yeah. laying on the streets. We're talking about, we're talking about 
millions of people yes. running. But we're working with Karen Hazelt. Yes. We're working with the Israeli government right now. Yeah. When you send that offering yeah. in. Yep. Every year, God opens the windows of heaven. Yeah. It's a time of power. It's a time of prosperity. This is God's appointed time. If we miss this, if yes. we miss this appointed time, God still is the God of prosperity. Absolutely. He's still the God of yes. power, but not like it is yeah. right now. But also, this is fulfillment of prophecy Absolutely. going all the yes. way back, and we'll talk about that yes. this, this month, all yeah. the way back to Jeremiah prophesying, prophesying that there'll come a time that there will be yeah. an exodus of Jews from come around on. the world. Yeah. We are seeing an exodus. We yeah. have helped the nation of Israel. I just got a text this morning. This yeah. morning, so far, 11,000 Jewish women and children mainly, and we'll show you the video. Maybe they'll show it now. No men, a couple older men, because the men are staying Stay to back fight. to fight against yeah. this, this new Hitler, this new Nazi attack <sighs> against the nation. And so when we give during, for, during right. Pentecost, first right. fruits during Pentecost, right. God says we're getting a divorce from the old life. Yes. And yes. we're getting married to a new life. Amen. That is true every year. Ooh. But oh my, folks, oh my. when we do this right yes. now, can you do this right oh now? Lord. I'm going to tell you something prophetically. Mm. God, is going, God is going to use you. Yeah. Malachi said, all the world will call you blessed. Yeah. God is going to bring into your life, yes. your family, your children, divine power. Yep. As we, I, I, I know this 100%. Divine power, yep. the power yeah. of the Holy Spirit Amen. as never before, yeah. and the end time transfer Amen. of wealth, the yes. wealth of the wicked being yep. put in the hands of yes. the righteous. And of course, you know that term righteous there means those who are doing acts, acts of, of charity. charity. This is not just we are fulfilling Bible Ooh. prophecy by bringing our first fruit. Yeah. This is fulfilling Bible prophecy yes. in bringing Jews back Ooh. to the nation of Israel and literally saving lives. Yes. This, yes. your life this year yep. will never be the same mm -mm. because God in a way that has never happened yes. in history is gonna open up Absolutely. over you and your family the windows of heaven. Yes. We'll be right back. The appointed time for you to receive an outpouring of blessing on Pentecost is passing by right now. God is ready to confirm His Word in your life with signs, wonders, and miracles. As you're learning from Pastors Larry and Tiz, it's your Pentecost First Fruits Offering that connects you with all that God has promised. Today, your offering will accomplish something very biblical and very prophetic. You'll be blessing the Ukrainian Jews who are caught in the crossfire of what has become a modern day tragedy. Larry Huck Ministries has already sponsored thousands of Ukrainian Jews fleeing the war, but thousands more are desperately wanting to be rescued. Your gift will help bring them safely home to a new beginning in Israel. With your Pentecost offering of any size today, we want to show our appreciation by sending you Pastor Larry's classic book, The Seven Living Prophecies. You'll learn how standing with Israel and supporting the Jewish people is not only fulfilling Bible prophecy, it is the pathway to an overflow of blessing in your own life. Again, the book is available today for your gift of any size. With your offering of $135 or more, we'll add this stunning Israel necklace. It's formed in the shape of the nation of Israel with the one new man cross and star of David boldly displayed. Crafted in stainless steel, this beautiful pendant will make a public statement of your support of Israel and your love for the Jewish people. Pastors Larry and Tiz will also add this striking Star of David medallion for your offering of $500 or more. Crafted in Israel, it's beautifully designed with a one new man cross and Star of David and mounted on a piece of authentic Jerusalem stone. This is another wonderful reminder of your love for Israel and the Jewish people. 
With your Pentecost offering of $1,000 or more, we want to add this exceptional Israel metal wall sculpture. It's designed exclusively for Larry Huck Ministries by renowned artist Patrick Newworth and branded with a one new man cross and star of David. Each piece is created by hand and shows your belief in the unity of Christians and Jews in these last days. Again, you will receive all of the resources mentioned today for your Pentecost offering of $1,000 or more. Please take a moment right now to contact our ministry in support of Ukrainian Aliyah. You can reach us at 1-800-978-8546 or through our secure website at LarryHuck.tv. If you prefer, you can mail in your offering to the ministry address on the screen. But the fastest way to be a blessing is to contact us by phone at 800-978-8546. There's an ancient Jewish proverb that says, whoever saves one life, God sees it as if they save the whole world. Your offering, whether large or small, is literally saving lives, fulfilling end-time Bible prophecy, and ultimately preparing the world for the coming of the Messiah. So please, let us hear from you today, and thank you for your generous support. Now, let's rejoin Pastors Larry and Tiz. You know, I, I've got notes in front of me, and, and when we were getting ready to come out, I felt a certain direction to go, yeah. and, and I'm going to share all these things. We're going to talk about Jeremiah, the, the yes. amazing prophecy of Jeremiah yes. 23. It, it's going to blow your mind. Mm. We know three times a year we come before the Lord and we don't come empty handed. And God says, I'll open you up the windows right. of heaven. Listen, the, the, the word window in Hebrew is you show. A funnel. A funnel. A yeah. funnel from the throne of God. Right. And, and this is true every year. This offering is the key yes. to the power of God and to yes. the prosperity yes. of God. My people destroyed for what Lack reason? Lack of knowledge. Lack yeah. of knowledge. Yes. This is this offering right here. Yes. The Passover offering tis, does one thing. Right. The, the Feast of Tabernacles, Sukkot yes. offering does other right. things. Right, right. This offering specifically yes. is the power of God. Yes. You know, you think about the day of Pentecost, Shavuot. Yeah. And the last things Jesus said was... I command you, yeah. don't leave right. until you receive right. the promise, right. the power of God. Yeah. And so they were all there. They weren't all just gathering together, hanging right. out. They were bringing yes. their offering of Shavuot exactly. of Pentecost yes. to open the windows yeah. of heaven. Yeah. They went from Egypt, and I, I, remind me to teach on this this month. They went from Egypt, yes. the slave mentality, right, right. to Shavuot, Pentecost, yes. they made Aliyah. It's called yeah. making Aliyah. They right. climbed up right. till they could receive right. Right. the power of God yeah. and the prosperity of God. We're going to talk about all of that. This is absolutely an amazing understanding. But listen to what, uh, as we went to a break, God spoke to me. When, when Russia attacked Ukraine mm. and... Um, there, every week there is a different, what's called a parasha, a Torah portion. And so I was studying the Torah portion just, just to be studying it. In ancient Hebrew, there's no word for coincidence. coincidence. Right, Listen right. to what I'm telling you right now. Listen to what I'm telling you. And so I'm reading the Torah portion out of Exodus chapter 38. Now remember, Pentecost is the time of prosperity and the power of Absolutely. God. God says, yeah. I give you power in your hands yeah. to gain wealth. Yes. Don't forget that. Yep. That it's me, God says. Yes. It's me. Do not forget it's right. me who gives you power to gain right. hands, to gain wealth. And, and so this is the reason God said, you come before me right. and you that helps you remember yeah. that it's not because you're so smart. It's not because right. it's because of I'm Jehovah Jireh, your provider. Uh -huh. So I'm studying the Torah portion. Right. And it's Exodus 38. It's the finishing of the Mishkan, the temple of God. Right. And at, as they finished it, everybody did their part. Yeah. Now, I'm reading this. This is the same week yeah. that Russia <sighs> is attacking Ukraine. Yes. Listen to, what, listen to this prophetic word. 
And so I'm reading it, and it says in Exodus 38 that God counted everybody who did their part yes. over the age of 20. Right. And it was 603,550 <laughs> people. And I'm reading that. I'm just reading it because that's what I studied that week. And I realize I've seen that number somewhere yeah. before. Yeah. This is the week Russia attacks Ukraine. Right. This is the week that we got yeah, the call exactly. from Israel yep. and said, we've got to move now. Yeah. This is going to be bad. Yeah. So I'm reading it. And when, when everybody did their part, 603,550 right. of them, yes. the power of God fell yes. to the point that Moses couldn't Come even right. minister. Yeah. The shadow of God came yes. down. The fire of God came yeah. down. And I'm reading this and I'm going, where did I see yeah. 603,550. I'm going, I just saw that. Yeah. And it dawned on me. I saw it on the news. They showed a map of Ukraine. Mm. Now listen to this. The map of Ukraine, mm. the square mileage, the square kilometer, Kilometers. I think it is, yeah. of the landmass of Ukraine is, and I went and looked it up, and we can pull it up for you. Yeah. 603,550. And I realized no that kidding. God was saying something. Listen Ooh. to me. This is the time. This yeah. is the time. Pentecost, Shavuot. Yeah. Listen to me. Amen. This is the time that yeah. God opens the windows of heaven, pours you yeah. out. Such a blessing. He rebukes the devourer. He rebukes the enemy yes. that comes against you. Yes, yes. But it's the time, and we forget on Pentecost, yeah. that God brings the power of God, yes. signs and mm. wonders and miracles. When everybody in Exodus 38... Yeah. Everybody, all 603,550 of them yes. did, their part. did their part. Some did great big exactly. things. Some did smaller things. Right. But when everybody did their part, right. one of your favorite scriptures is where there is unity. There's the outpouring of God. He God promises commands it. his yes. blessing there. Yes. That's one of Tiz's favorite Absolutely. scriptures. Here it is right there. 603,550. Yeah. Exactly the landmass in kilometers, kilometers, I believe, yeah. of Ukraine, yeah. and we can show it to you, and the power of God fell. Listen to me. And we got that week Come a on. call from Israel saying, can, Pastor, yeah. Pastor Larry, can you help us? Yeah. We're already doing Ethiopia. We got Ethiopian Jews coming in right now, yeah. fulfilling Bible prophecy. Yeah. But listen to me. This is a word from God. Amen. Those who have eyes to see, let mm, them see. Those who on. have ears to hear, let them hear. Listen, every year God opens the windows of heaven three times a year. Yeah. This is beyond special. This is, this is God speaking now. Yeah. In ancient Hebrew, there's no word for coincidence. Right. But also in modern Hebrew, whenever you see something, uh, Sam's daughter said, when we talked about there's right. in ancient Hebrew, there's no word for coincidence. Yeah, yeah. Sam's daughter said, <laughs> but also in modern Hebrew, right. whenever you see the words by chance, by chance, yep. you turn those letters around and it says only, only by, God. by God. This is not by chance. This Ooh. is by God yes. that you're watching. Yes, yes. God is ready now, folks. Yes. As we reach out and Amen. literally say Come on. this yep. from modern day Holocaust. Yes. We've saved oh Jewish lives. God says, when you save one life, yes. I see it. I see yes. it. Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Sitkinu, Jehovah make yeah. it us, Jehovah Shalom. I see it yes. as if you saved, saved the, entire the entire world. world. Not by chance, Whew. but by the hand of God. Folks, yeah. this is amazing. Amen. And God has yeah. picked you yes. to be a part yeah. of this divine prophetic Amen. time. We'll be right back. Today, your offering will accomplish something very biblical and very prophetic. You'll be blessing the Ukrainian Jews who are caught in the crossfire of what has become a modern day tragedy. Larry Huck Ministries has already sponsored thousands of Ukrainian Jews fleeing the war, but thousands more are desperately wanting to be rescued. Your gift will help bring them safely home to a new beginning in Israel. With your Pentecost offering of any size today, we want to show our appreciation by sending you Pastor Larry's classic book, The Seven Living Prophecies. You'll learn how standing with Israel and supporting the Jewish people is not only fulfilling Bible prophecy, it is the pathway to an overflow of blessing in your own life. Again, the book is available today for your gift of any size. 
With your offering of $135 or more, we'll add this stunning Israel necklace. It's formed in the shape of the nation of Israel with a one new man cross and star of David boldly displayed. Crafted in stainless steel, this beautiful pendant will make a public statement of your support of Israel and your love for the Jewish people. Pastors Larry and Tiz will also add this striking Star of David medallion for your offering of $500 or more. Crafted in Israel, it's beautifully designed with a one new man cross and Star of David and mounted on a piece of authentic Jerusalem stone. This is another wonderful reminder of your love for Israel and the Jewish people. With your Pentecost offering of $1,000 or more, we want to add this exceptional Israel metal wall sculpture. It's designed exclusively for Larry Huck Ministries by renowned artist Patrick Newworth and branded with a one new man cross and Star of David. Each piece is created by hand and shows your belief in the unity of Christians and Jews in these last days. Again, you will receive all of the resources mentioned today for your Pentecost offering of $1,000 or more. Please take a moment right now to contact our ministry in support of Ukrainian Aliyah. You can reach us at 1-800-978-8546 or through our secure website at LarryHuck.tv. If you prefer, you can mail in your offering to the ministry address on the screen. But the fastest way to be a blessing is to contact us by phone at 800-978-8546. Your offering, whether large or small, is literally saving lives, fulfilling end-time Bible prophecy, and ultimately preparing the world for the coming of the Messiah. I just want to say to you, thank you very much. Your support is saving a life and to be here in Ukraine, to see the people, the refugees, and uh, also as a minister uh, of integration and absorption in Israel, I can tell you that we accept more than 11,000 people from Ukraine, 11,000 Jewish that coming to Israel, and we will take care of them also because our friendship is so important. Your support, as I say, Thank you very much. God bless. You know, just think about, we're coming out of Passover, going into Pentecost, mm. and God delivered Come his on. people from yes. bondage, from yes. death, from slavery, yep. and God is using you yes. right now yes. for a modern day Passover as we go into yes. today's Pentecost. Amen. Let us pray for you. Father, yes. for everyone responding, you, a special blessing yes, of Lord. divine mm. power, signs and Thank wonders you, and miracles yes. beyond anything yes, we can imagine in their lives. God, do exceedingly you, abundantly Lord. above yes. anything we've ever thought Absolutely. or asked. And Father, divine prosperity. Yes, Use these people mm. right now. Use our brothers and sisters yes, right now God. who are blessing the nation of Israel. Use them as divine examples Amen. of Amen. prosperity everything they put their hands to, yes, let it prosper. Lord. And Father, we thank, thank you. you so much yes, for these wonderful people yes. and for your blessing yes. in these last days. Amen. Folks, we can't tell you how much we love you Absolutely. and how much we appreciate yes. you. We've got to go. We'll see you again tomorrow. I'm love Pastor you. Larry. I'm Tiz. We love you guys. Bye-bye.